Welcome back. Today we are making Christmas Chex Mix. This is a really delicious and easy recipe and it's perfect for sharing. So to a large bowl and I'm doing a Tupperware bowl because I want the lid. I'm going to add six cups of corn Chex or you could do rice Chex if you have that or you could do a mix of both. Then I'm going to add two cups of pretzel twist to my bowl. All right, next I'm going to be adding two cups of mini marshmallows. I personally do not care for marshmallows, but I will eat them in this. I'll eat them in a few things, less crispy treats, etc. But I don't really like them in my hot chocolate or just to eat. But anyhow, so that's two cups of marshmallows. And next I'm going to add two cups of dry salted roasted nuts. You could use any sort of nuts that you wanted. If you want, you could use mixed nuts. You can omit the nuts if you have a peanut allergy. It's just, I like the crunch and the salt of the um, peanuts. And then I'm going to add one bag of holiday M&Ms, which is going to be a cup and a half to the bowl. All right, next I'm going to add um, to a medium-sized mixing bowl. I did nine blocks of almond bark. I'm using the vanilla, and while that's melting, I've got it set for one minute. I'm just going to stir this really good until everything's mixed well. And when that minute is up, I'm just going to give it a kind of a quick stir. At this point, it's still going to be fairly solid. And I'm going to put it back in for an additional minute. All right, I'm going to take this out and give it a quick stir. Now, my microwave is fairly powerful. It only took two minutes, but you will just need to watch yours because all microwaves vary. And once I've got that done, I'm going to add that um, to my Chex Mix, which this bowl was really, really hot. That's why you see me using a hot pad. And I'm just going to stir that really well to coat. And I'm going to line another two cookie sheets with the um, parchment paper. You could definitely use wax paper. You could use foil, but make sure if you use foil, you spray it with nonstick spray. And I just divided this in half between the two cookie sheets. And I'm just going to spread that out to be fairly thin layer. I don't want it too thick of a layer. And then once I've got that kind of spread out, I'm going to add sprinkles, which this step is totally optional. If you don't have the sprinkles, it's not the end of the world. It's just fun to add a little more color to these. And once I have the sprinkles done, I'm going to let this cool for about 15 minutes. I'm going to add it back to the bowl I mixed it in. And I'm going to add between a quarter and a half of a cup of powdered sugar. I was not thinking. I ended up adding a full cup which made it pretty uh, powder sugar, no, I don't know, powder sugary, I guess is the word. Anyways, I'm gonna put the lid on it and I'm just gonna give this a good shake. I ended up putting the camera down so I could shake it well. And then you see where it's coated well with the powdered sugar and that's it. It's super, super easy. It's sweet and it's salty and it's delicious. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, hit that subscribe button down below, along with the notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. Today is Vlogmas day number 16, and I've really been enjoying these videos. I hope you've enjoyed watching them. They've been a lot of fun for me. If you enjoy this kind of content, a hodgepodge of things from cooking and baking to cocktails to crafting and thrift with me videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. I am trying to hit 500 subscribers by January 1st. I'm getting really close to hitting that. January 1st will actually be my three year anniversary on YouTube, so I'm pretty excited about it. If I don't make it, it's not the end of the world. I'll get there eventually, but I thought it would be kind of fun 
to hit that 500 mark on the first. So anyhow, All right. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. This is such an easy uh, recipe. And it's really just the only mess you're gonna make is a couple bowls. Super easy to make. I like the sweet and the salty with it. I changed up the original recipe to make it my own. Now I did add too much powdered sugar. I should have added a um, quarter to half a cup. I added one cup. I wasn't thinking, I, was, I guess I was thinking I had a quarter cup, a measuring cup, and I realized when I shook it all. So I actually went through and kind of sifted it a little bit with a um, pasta strainer to get kind of the excess off. So that's why it was a little bit more powdery than it normally would look, but it doesn't affect the taste at all. It is absolutely delicious. And I also made this for my neighbors and some friends for their little goodie bags, which will have some bread in it, some cookies, some um, peppermint bark, this, and maybe a couple other little things. I haven't decided yet. Definitely some friendship tea, probably some hot chocolate as well. So you definitely don't have to go overboard on spending money on gifts. These are definitely frugal gifts that you can extend and do a lot for a lot of people. Teachers, um, Sunday school teachers, you can do it for neighbors, your postman, whatever you want to do, you know, if you have somebody you want to get a little happy to. So, all right, I think that's about it for now. Let me know in the comments down below, do you enjoy Chex Mix? Have you ever had it this way? Uh, I like all kinds I've ever made. I like traditional. I make a birthday cake one that's really good. I just like regular puppy chow. So I think that's about it for now, though. I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, not every day is good, but there is always something good in every day. And I'll see you next time.